What is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemon Raptor Patrick, back at it again. And welcome back to Would You Rather. Now, this is a game that I played back in 2016 once, and I really like the idea and the concept of this game because it's more of a relaxed, laid back kind of video for me to do, especially when I have a lot of Subnautica rendering going on right now. I don't have the computer RAM to run any other fucking game. So we're just going to take a chill pill and kind of just do something else once in a while. So we're definitely going to be doing more Would You Rather and Will You Press the Button, I think, alongside the Kina Tour in the future. So if you guys want to see that, remember to show this more by calling that like button. Let's see if we can get 25 likes to this video and I might upload another part, maybe with a challenge. I'm not sure yet. You guys can comment down if you guys want to see that. I don't know yet. It might be the Bean Boozled again. I don't know. You guys tell me. Okay, let's get into it. Would you rather speak every language except the language of the country you're currently in, speak only the language of the country you're in, but know the meaning of every single word in that language? Okay, so if I'm able to speak only the language of the country that I'm in, I mean, I would be able to speak English, but I wouldn't be a practical walking dictionary. I would know everything. Hey, what does this word mean? Oh yeah, dude, that means you're a fucking cunt. Yeah, fuck you. Like, I would know exactly what that means, and nobody else would know. But if I was able to speak every other language, I mean, that'd be... I don't even know how many languages there are in the world. I think there's like 300 different languages. In the world, I think there's like 300 different languages. So, whatever the, um, the multiple term for that is, you know, you have um, double or bilingual, trilingual, quadrilingual. You know how you have those? Whatever freaking 300 would be that spot. But you couldn't speak English. And English is everybody's language around here. I mean, yeah, you'd be able to speak Spanish, but what about the white people that only speak English? So I'd rather um, speak only the language of the country I'm in, because then I can just be a human dictionary and use that as an, as an excuse. Yep, see? People agree. Would you rather toilet paper a house or egg a house? I've done both of these on Halloween at one point in my life, and they are absolutely mean, but... If you egg a house, it really can mess with the paint. It's the same thing with an egg in a car. If you TP a house, I mean, it, it's a joke. Like, you can just tear that down. If you egg a house, it can really mess up the paint. So I'd rather TP a house. Really? You guys would rather egg a house? I mean, what if somebody did that to your house and you had to be the one to clean it up, right? Yeah, fuck you guys. You being complacent with your egg on a house. Be able to travel at light speed or be able to read minds. Okay, so to be able to travel at light speed, I, I don't think that would be physically possible, even if you were able to, because you'd be running so damn fast, or traveling so damn fast, your freaking face would be in the back of your ass. Like, it's basic physics. That's too much force upon your gravitational pull, allowing you to be deformed. You look like a retarded Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. That's how you would look. But to be able to read minds would give you the power to know what a girl's thinking when you're talking to her. Oh man, he's really cute. Like, I wanna fuck. Yeah, of course. I'd rather be able to read minds. That's just me. Because everybody wants to be able to do that. Would you rather bring back someone you love who died, bring back someone famous who died? Someone I love. Okay, I can care less if freaking jo or Leonardo da Vinci died. Okay, he did his job in his time. Like, who cares? He's dead. Fuck him. But, if I was really in love with somebody, and I was able to bring them back, of course, hell yeah. Like, why wouldn't you, you know? Would you rather be famous in this lifetime, or go down in history books? In the history books. Famous for what? Is my question. Okay. If you're famous in this lifetime, you're famous for something, but it doesn't give you enough information on that. If you're famous in the history books, that means you did something worthwhile that was historical during your time. In this lifetime, who gives a fuck if you're famous, you know? Like, oh man, dude, he's just another rich guy that has money. Like, he won't help me out. So I'd rather go down in the history books. Really? You guys would rather be a freaking low-down famous person in the 2000s? Man, fuck you, man. You guys don't know what you're talking about. Would you always, uh, would you rather always be hot or always be cold? What's the difference? If you're really hot, you're sweating all the damn time, and if you're cold, you're just shivering your ass off. If you're always cold, put on a sweater. Like, I'd rather be cold, because being hot really sucks sometimes. Especially here in California. In the summer, it can get up to about 118 degrees. And, like, I remember last year, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off on a tangent for a minute. I remember last year during the summer, 
It was 93 degrees at 2 o'clock in the freaking morning. That's how hot it gets here in California. 2 in the morning, 93 degrees. It was like 119 during the day. Would you have ra would you rather have grown out up without a father or grown up without a mother? Okay. <laughs> Some guy in the comment section said, well, I already grew up without a father. <laughs> That's messed up, man. But, I mean... I wouldn't want either of my parents to be gone. I mean, if I had to choose, it'd probably be my father. Because, I mean, my mother gave birth to me. If she ran out on me, I'd be like, where the hell is my mom? Like, my, I would think my dad was the one who gave birth to me. Like, nah. I mean, my dad can go get milk and never come back. Who gives a fuck? But yeah. Because without your mother, you really don't have any biological feeling. Would you rather have all your limbs cut off by a very, very dull butter knife or have to go to every single local women's national basketball association game for the rest of your life? Why? Okay, why would you choose this? Okay, there's nothing wrong with women's basketball. It's a sport, right? Stop degrading women. Would you rather control the elements or control time? Okay, so you would have- you'd basically be mother nature if you had the power to control the elements. You can basically make lightning strike down on your biggest enemy in the world. He says, fuck you, I say, send the lightning. But to be able to control time, it is kind of like a power that it, it does- I don't know. I don't even understand how you would be able to control time if you had that power. I don't understand the scenarios in which you would use that. But to be able to control the elements would allow you to occur every single natural disaster on Earth. You'd be able to uh, uh, mantle a tornado, you'd be able to send a hurricane back the other way. I mean, there's so many things that you can be able to do being able to control elements as opposed to being able to control time. Because that just means you're a time traveler. Would you rather live on normally or have every would you rather on the site come true? Here's the problem with this. I wouldn't want all these would you rathers to be true because some of them are highly fucked up so i'd rather just live normally like i already do i mean yes people agree because people know how fucked up the site can be now some of them i'd want to be true but like i mean i don't know man you guys tell me would you rather have extremely muscular arms or extremely muscular legs okay so if you have really ex uh, extreme muscular i can't talk if you have extremely muscular arms, you have powers to just deck somebody in the jaw and just have their whole jaw come back on your out on your fist. Like you have that much strength on your hands. However, to be able to have highly ex uh, muscular legs, on the other hand, you would be able to lift practically everything in existence. Anything that you think is impossible now, having legs will get you there. All right, fuck me, right? I mean, having muscular arms would be great, but you can fucking work that shit. Having extremely muscular legs is such a good perk, and a lot of people overlook it. Would you rather have every commercial to be an annoying Geico ad for the rest of your life, or have every commercial be a Verizon, can you hear me now, Geico? Because some of the Geico commercials are freaking funny. Hump day! It's hump day. <laughs> Ronnie, how happy are folks who save hundreds of dollars switching to Geico? I'd say happier than a camel on Wednesday. Hump day! Get happy. Yeah. Get Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Like, that one's the best one they've ever made. I'm sorry. Would you rather have your house burnt down by a fire-breathing dragon or have your house blown down by the big bad wolf? Well, is my house a deck of cards now for this to be a thing? Nah. I'd rather have my house burned down by a fire-breathing dragon because that would be fucking sick. Watching my insides turn into a crisp from the fire-breathing dragon that I'm just looking at because he's right here in my room, huh? Yeah. Would you rather pee your pants once a day at a random time, poop your pants once a day at a time? Okay, peeing your pants, both of these are highly um, embarrassing to do, but uh, surprisingly I've never done that. But for me to be able to pee my pants, it, it's better than pooping your pants because if you were to defecate on yourself, You'd smell like absolute dookie for the rest of the day. Peeing your pants, you'd probably smell the same. But absolute defecation is the worst smell in the world. So yeah, I'd rather pee my pants. Yeah. <sighs> Why would you want to poop yourself? The movie plot as a character. Would you rather experience Ferris Bueller's Day Off as Ferris? Or experience 16 Candles as Samantha Baker? 
I watched some uh, 16 Candles in my health class uh, freshman year during summer school. That movie is freaking hilarious. Long Duck Dong. But Ferris Bueller, because I don't want to, I don't want to have to worry about my fucking private part becoming wet, because you know I'd have to go through a gender swap. If you were in close proximity to a coworker all day, would you rather they had terrible bad odor, or they play your least favorite music on repeat constantly? If they have B.O., I'm socking you. I'm giving you a stick of deodorant on the spot. I'm literally going to run to the store in my underwear to get this man a stick of deodorant. So yeah, I'd rather have the worst song played than have somebody smell like shit. Sorry, it'd be like that, you know? Would you rather kill a unicorn in front of thousands of children or kill a beloved dolphin in front of thousands of children? This is a tough one, because either way, it's going to make a kid sad. So, I'm going to leave that to you guys. Um, Tell me what you guys think about this would you rather question in the comment section below. Alright, thank you guys again so much for watching this would you rather video. I, I like it how this game is just kind of laid back and just in the moment, you feel. Because I, I love being able to lay back and just record games here and there. But... I really just want to change up the channel a little bit as far as the content that I produce. I want to be more uh, laid back, variety, let's play, and funny moments. That's all I'm going to do. So, thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see another Would You Rather video with the Bean Boozle Challenge or some kind of challenge, you guys can also comment that down below. Give me an idea. Um, let's hit 25 likes for another part, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.